Hello and welcome to Yuma County Library's virtual program. Today, I'd like to ask you which came first, the postage stamp or the Christmas card? Recently, a patron came in and showed me part of his stamp collection as he was looking for the 2021 Scott Standard Postage Stamp Catalog, which he wanted to check out. At this time, he showed me various items from his stamp collection. He turned to the page in the stamp catalog of the world's very first postage stamp. I have come to learn that the study of stamps, postage stamp history, and all things related to the postage stamp is known as philately. But now that I'm a novice philatist, I have learned that the world's first stamp is known as a penny black. Simply, it cost a penny, and black ink was used for its design of Queen Victoria's profile. In 1839 Victorian England, Roland Hill was hired as an advisor to the Treasury, the government department responsible for the financial aspects of the post office. Hill was tasked with creating the mock-ups and created the first stamp. The story is fascinating. He even had contests. Here is an example of a contest winner with the lace cutouts. There was also a lot of work in developing a stamp press and deciding on the various adhesives for the stamp. In any event, Roland Hill is attributed to have developed the ideas which led to the first modern postal service, and his format was adopted around the world, which is essentially the prepayment facilitating the transfer of letters model that is safe, speedy, and cheap. Here is a copy of the two penny blue for items requiring a higher fee. The blue, because they use blue ink. Several years later, around 1843, the use of stamps was still foreign and did not gain in popularity. This sounds random, but have you ever heard of the song, Old King Cole was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he? Roland Hill had an assistant named Henry Cole. This is the same Cole from that song. During the holiday season, the practice was to handwrite letters of holiday wishes to all families and friends. The thought of writing so many letters caused him a lot of anxiety, particularly when he wanted to draw attention to supporting the country's poor. This is the era where Charles Dickens wrote A Christmas Carol. Henry Cole commissioned artist John Calcutt Horsley to design an original piece featuring people gathering together celebrating with the message of A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. Cole then hired a printer and reproduced 1,000 copies of the lithograph. Cole signed the back of the card and as a promoter of the newish postage system used Penny Blacks to send greeting cards to friends and acquaintances that year. And with that, a new holiday tradition was born. There are only 12 known original prints in existence and several years ago, Hallmark greeting cards held two copies in their archives. The tradition was brought to the United States by German immigrant Lois Prang. In 1875, he printed a card that showed culinary roses and the words Merry Christmas from his Boston factory. As the cards gained in popularity, he would hold yearly art competitions with women as the judges because as he wrote, my object in starting this project has been principally to give an impetus to female art. Here we see an 1880 Louis Prang card with art by Rosini Emmett. If, recall, if you recall using any Prang art supplies as a child, please know that he introduced art education to American public schools. Going down the holiday rabbit hole got me thinking about the stuff I need to mail out this year. To ensure delivery by certain dates, I have found this information from the United States Postal Service. To ensure delivery by December 25th, using USPS Retail Ground Service, send your stuff out by December 15th. December 18th for first class mail service, December 19th for priority mail, and December 23rd for priority mail express. Go to USPS.gov for updated information. If you're interested in learning more about stamps or greeting cards, Yuma County Library has awesome options. Books to check out are the Penny Black Stamps and other stamps, such as some from Benjamin Franklin on Biblioboard, Stamps by James McKay on Hoopla, and then there are Greeting Card and that catalog and a History of America in 36 postage stamps available to check out. Before I forget, happy holidays from the Yuma County Library District. From all of us at all of the branches within Yuma County Library, we hope that your December is merry and bright. Here are resources that I used as a reference for this presentation.